everyone. Welcome to True Root Preview. We are here at Bonnaroo. As you might be able to hear and see, we're really excited. I'm here with Andrew Ottman. How are we feeling about starting today? We are feeling hot, but we are very also hot. very excited that we're here and we're starting our show. This is awesome. I am super excited. It is the morning time. Um, the doors open at 12 o'clock, and then the first performance starts at 2.45. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. We came out yesterday, checked everything out, and we're here to go today. I know, I know, and it's really exciting. This is, uh, of course, 2021's Bonnaroo got canceled because of the torrential rains and they had flooding and it was a last second cancellation. Our return to Bonnaroo for MTSU, the first time we've been back since 2019. I am beyond excited to be here and I'm so excited especially to see our students that are working here and mm -hmm. working the event. I mean, it's such a great opportunity for them and to see all the hard work they've been putting in with the cameras, with the audio, with everything. I mean, they've been working up to this point their whole school year, to, so to see them come out here and succeed is really exciting. We're really proud of the fact that we say that Bonnaroo is, is our classroom. They're earning college credits out there, they're getting experience, it's going to help them get real world jobs and all that fun stuff. But the most important thing is they're doing real meaningful work for the festival. And we'll talk a little bit about, we've got a package on that and we'll talk more about that later. Yes. So probably the number one thing I, I hope everyone is aware of, we talked about this, it is hot out there. It is very hot. What, did, did it just hit you, like hit me when you walked in? It is so hot. I got here, first thing, put my sunscreen on. Second thing, drink my water and even put some liquid IV in there because I seriously like the heat is coming, very minimal makeup, very light glam because it is coming through. So it is, sure. you know, my, my, my youngest daughter, Rachel, always says hydrate or dihydrate. And you know, she's, she, she is not kidding. This is stuff that you really need to take seriously. Fortunately, there are hydration stations all over uh, the farm. So number one thing to tell you is do bring a water bottle. And, and there are lots of places to fill up for free. There's lots of places to buy uh, um, beverages too, all, all sorts of beverages. But water is really important because you've just got to stay on top of that. For sure. And, and also, don't you think it's just a combination of that Plus, it's just, you know, you're out in the field, right? I mean, yeah. there's not a lot of shade. There's not a lot of shade. It's a lot of walking. It's a lot of, like, heat directly on you. So you got to make sure you're protected and have your water with you, for sure. Yeah, no kidding. We are expecting temperatures to uh, hit 93 with wow. a heat index of 100. Wow. Uh, and basically, it, it's going to, the heat index, which is how it actually feels, it's mm -hmm. going to be around 107. So just, just stay cautious for that. Weather is just going to be... You know, if it happens, it happens. They, uh, except for last year, of course, where they had the torrential rains. Yeah. Um, but they're saying, according to the forecast, they, it, it, you, you never know what's happened, but there's probably not going to be rain. But mud boots is one of the things they said, particularly if you're camping gear. Um, yeah. You know, everybody's been following the camping guidelines, I'm pretty sure. Um, but what about bug spray? Have you got any, how about the mosquitoes out there? I didn't bring the bug spray. My friend, who I'm also working with here as a student, mm -hmm. Becca, she's already gotten bug bites. So she's like, girl, yeah. I need to put my bug spray on. And that is no joke because you're walking around in the grass out there. The bees are flying. Yeah. The mosquitoes are here. You got to be careful. got to watch out. Becca looks like she could jump out of an aircraft with all the stuff in her backpack. Yeah, for that's, sure. <laughs> that's good. Um, so anything else you would pass along? Just, uh, you know, things that you've seen other people walking around with that you thought was smart or cool? Definitely. We're not, like, wear tank tops, wear shorts, because it is very hot out here. Even with the crew and everything, everyone's just trying to stay cool with all the heat, so be prepared for that. Now, you had a portable fan yesterday. I did have a portable fan. <laughs> what that is a, that? That's a life hack. I got that at Walgreens, and that got the job done, because it's very small. Let me say, it could be a little stronger. It's a little, it's a light, it's a light breeze, but having it right here on my neck, I mean, I don't have it on right now, but having it does help, especially in the heat. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know folks are eager to see what the, what this place is actually like, but let's talk a little bit before we show a wonderful package you've got on Dana Life uh, of what our students are doing here. You mentioned that you've, they're, they're excited, the real world experience. Um, we've got our mobile production laboratory, the truck. Yeah. Uh, it's, the, it's the same type of thing that you would see roll into a football game, a mm -hmm. basketball game, real professional portable television studio. And we are going to be providing audio and visual support to two stages this year, uh, the Who stage and the other stage. Now, which was your favorite, Who or Other? I mean, I like the Who stage. I think it's really nice, really intimate, really fun vibe. I'm excited to see, obviously, the other two. That one is a little bigger. It's a little, it's a little more built up. So I think both stages will be really cool, especially since our students are working at them. Yeah, it really is. The Who stage is for emerging talent. Mm -hmm. So that'll be first glimpse of some artists, the first time they've ever been to the festival. The other stage is going to be a DJ station, and it's going to be the late night rock and roll, mm -hmm. everything going on stage, and it's going to be awesome. So, um, well, 
We've talked about your day in the life package. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, so me and my friend Becca, who is also a student here at MTSU, and we are on the marketing team, and we made a package yesterday. We came out here, took a look around, figured everything out. Where are we going? What are we doing? We wanted to get a little glimpse of how the Bonnaroo Festival works and how our students are doing. So we got to see, you know, we got to see inside the truck, got to see the students, got to see the stages and figure everything out. So it was really nice to get a first glimpse of everything before people get here. So, yeah. All right, let's watch it. Hey guys, this is Izzy and I'm here with Becca. We just got to Bonnaroo. It is the day before it starts, so we're just getting ready, kind of getting situated. We're looking at all the stages we have set up and seeing where we're gonna do some interviews. It's hot, drink cup. <laughs> okay, so we just left the truck, which is where our students are getting their work done. And this is the Who stage, which is where majority of our acts are taking place. Here's Izzy. We're walking over to the other stage, which is where like the EDM style performances are happening later at night. So we'll see when we get over there. We're on the way to the other stage right now, but there's so many little cute things being set up. Not everything is set up yet, so there's not a ton. But there's a bunch of little shops over there. That's a water station. There's hydration stations. There's a Coke studio. And there's even a Duncan booth over there. And there's a Ferris wheel. We're a little taken back at how cool this stage I know. Is. We are at the other stage right now, and seriously, like, this is unreal. I can't believe our students, like, work this. This is crazy. Okay, guys, we just finished our first, kind of first day here, mm -hmm. and we're excited to get started tomorrow. I guess you could call this, like, Bonnaroo Day Zero. Day Zero. Okay, that was cool. That was a great package. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's, it's just so exciting to see all of our students here and to see the two of you excited about covering the students and being here as well. So we've talked about a few things you need to bring, but there's a couple of really, really important things that folks are, are going to have to deal with, and one of which are these credentials, right? Yeah, so you're going to always have to have your wristband on you. This is going to get you into the park. It's going to get you everywhere you want to go. People are going to ride around the park asking you, like, hey, like, can I see yours and check you? And you're just like, yep, that's me. But also something really cool about this year is that they have your credit card or your Venmo built into it. So if I ever want to, like, go somewhere and, like, buy a drink or buy something to eat or buy, like, a t-shirt or something, I can just show them my ID and on my wristband and they'll be able to use it. They also offer this year a QR code that on their website you can put on your cell phone with your information on it so that if you lose your phone, you're able to show it to someone and someone picks it up and they're like, oh my God, whose phone this is? Right here, they can turn it in and show it and scan it and they'll go look to lost and found. You can go and be able to find it. So I think that's a really great feature this year in case I drop my phone. I mean, I'm around here filming. I, I could easily set it down somewhere. Next thing I know, gone. Yeah. So that's really helpful. You know, one of the things that everyone prides themselves about Bonnaroo is sort of the code, the bon Bonnarovian code, where they're really trying to be good people. Yeah. And, and the good vibes are going oh on God, all the time. Yeah. I, I mean, how many people have just said, hey, happy Rue to us walking in? Everyone has been so nice. And I obviously know the guests are all going to be so excited to be here to listen to music, to eat. I mean, this is all fun stuff. You really can't be sad in this situation. I know. So I think everyone's been so kind, and I'm really excited to see you. I know, I know. And of course, we've, uh, Izzy talked about how excited our students are. Uh, we, I, I had a chance to visit with our one of their professors, Bob Gordon, who's an associate professor of media arts. He talked a little bit more about the uh, things that they're going to be doing inside the truck and how that's important. And we talked to a couple of students about the work they're going to be doing. So let's, why don't we show that one now? Men seem to do that a lot. Yeah, that's how we show you know we're doing. And it's going to be different this year. Uh, the Who stage where we normally have worked has been moved, so we're in a new location. But the thing that's really different is that we are crewing two stages, the Who stage and the other stage. So we're doing two different sets of performances from two stages, 19 different acts over four days. So the students really get an opportunity to see what concert festival television production is like. A fiber. This runs back to the truck. No, this is definitely, Mike will say it too, this is the most complicated uh, shoot this truck has done yeah. by far. Two different stages, 6,000 feet of fiber. Um, there's a lot of extra audio equipment that the truck doesn't normally live with uh, because of the rim classes. Michael Fleming is getting them a whole lot of other audio formats that we don't normally get, gear that we don't normally have, so that way they can, the students can... Um, the students can operate with different, a bunch of different formats of audio and gear and stuff. Well, it's something that I've never gotten to do before. Live music is a totally different thing than anything in studio. So just learning how that works and how everything around it is going to be going on, it's really exciting. They are going to have the time of their lives so covering this, this show. I mean, every four days intense, they're up for it. But I mean, they also know it's just going to be
heavy, hot work. Yes, a lot of work, but very fun. <laughs> well, part of the fun is the schedule, and you know the shows start today. So, Izzy, who, who's who's going to be on stage today? Who are your must sees? I definitely am excited to see Role Model. He is playing a little late. He's playing at 12:45 to 1:45. You'll be there, right? I mean, I will be there, but <laughs> I will be a little tired, a little sweaty, a little little needing some water, but I'm really excited to see him. He's like one of my favorite artists for a while, so I think it'll be really cool to see him. And also, um, one of our, our MTSU students are running the other stage, and on the other stage, Griffin is playing there today, and I'm really excited to see him. He's a DJ, and he has like a ton of other cool like little tricks and stuff he's gonna bring out on stage. So I'm really excited. Thank you so much, Andrew. And that's pretty much it for our show today. I think that's it. We got stuff to do, right? We gotta get going. There's some artists I gotta go see. There's some vendors I gotta go check out. And they're playing right now. They're that's playing right now. The loudest set we've ever had for a show, but it's it's, it's really, it's, it's fun. We got to get going. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you tune in the rest of this week at 2 p.m. on True Blue TV for the True Rube preview. And I got to get going. Happy Rue. Happy Rube.